today's tip idea comes from Sean Paul and Z01. He asked, how about some footage of general riding through the mountain so we could see the different terrain? Um, with, well, out actually riding the whole mountain, I definitely got some general tips that I'd love to share. Um, one, brushes. So I used to always just wax and then scrape. Middle of last season, I finally stepped up, got some brushes. Oh, it makes such a big difference, especially on a powder day like this. We got a couple of inches and uh, my board is just obviously to me, it is so much faster than it normally would be. So starting with a before waxing, using a brass brush, getting back to the t uh, uh, the structure of the board and then waxing scraping using a nylon brush and then horse a horsehair brush racers do it religiously for a reason being fast on the mountain it is so much funner uh, but uh yeah because on a powder day who wants to be stuck in powder you want to just be able to glide through it so i'll put a link to the brushes that i got they're pretty darn cheap off amazon and uh and i definitely highly recommend And the next tip, don't be too eager to ride the extreme type of terrain on powder days. Uh, it's early in the season. It's the best preseason I remember. It's awesome. But uh, Nate and I were up in Horseshoe Bowl the other day, took a couple runs, and then you had to navigate around a lot of rocks just to get to the good section where we could make a couple of turns. So on a day like this, just a couple of inches of snow, if you're cruising down, you're going to hit those rocks and be messy probably ruining your board getting some core shots maybe blowing out an edge maybe tump maybe worse the first year I moved out here a uh, bunch of guys from Minnesota that I used to compete with we all came out here in 97 Matt Peterson was out on a day like this and uh, none of us wore helmets back then hardly anyone did but uh, he took a tumble down horseshoe bowl came back home all messed up on his face and uh, he said he was standing at the bottom of the resort and a guy asked him if he was all right and he didn't even remember how he got to the bottom of the resort so uh, uh the day like this people are definitely going to be hitting a lot of rocks up there just because it looks fun to ride go ride some pow but it's just kind of a couple inches right sitting on top of the rocks there's not enough up there yet so so sometimes you just got to wait till the conditions are better even same, same with the trees i'll do a couple here but uh there's definitely going to be stumps and stuff so i'm not going to be going high speed or anything like that I think I made it to the zone with the least amount of chance of hitting rocks, but wish me luck. I wish I had a good selfie stick. I broke all my good ones, but I uh, got another one on order, so won't be getting the full view that you normally get, but let's make some power turns. Definitely some pow better than I thought it would be up there. Uh, but I also kind of know the areas that are likely to be filled in first and not have rocks underneath. So uh, 
just uh, take that tip of if you're not exactly sure if there's rocks, if you see any rocks, there's likely to be more rocks just under the fresh snow. So take that tip and be careful when you're riding that type of train. Um, but yeah, check out those brushes too. And uh, thank you for watching and happy shredding. And of course, kappa.